Flash floods, lightning, and fires are just some of the natural disasters that can happen here in Nevada. But are your homes safe? Well, whenever a natural disaster happens, homes next door to each other will have dramatically different outcomes. What you may not know is that building standards have a huge impact on damage. And here to discuss a nationwide effort to improve these standards is Carrie Kors, chairman of Portland Cement Association. Hey, Carrie, how you doing? Good, Jason. How are you doing? Good, good. So you tell us uh, these home standards. How are they changing? Is it, is it going to be safer for us? Well, our, our, our effort clearly is uh, moving forward to try to strengthen uh, the codes and standards under which we operate. Uh, we, we need to build structures that can withstand strong winds, uh, uh, floods, uh, fire. Uh, and, and the way to do that is to strengthen our, our codes and standards to meet the challenges of today. More often, uh, what we do is wait till it's, it, it's too late, and that's after the, the disaster has occurred. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, that's, is, is there anything that the homeowner can do? It sounds like this is something that has to be done on a, on a government level. Well, yes, you're, you're correct. We, we've got to uh, move forward with stronger codes and standards, ones that uh, are, are more resilient, uh, that uh, focus on uh, protecting uh, uh, property and, and life and communities. Uh, and, and at this point, the standards that we see in many areas of the country are nothing more than the minimum. And this has got to change. What are, what are some examples that you've noticed uh, where it's just a shame? It's a shame you see uh, the destruction of, of people's property and when it could have been uh, uh, avoided. Well, I think history has shown a lot of locations where, where this, in fact, was the case. Uh, uh, you know, in the 90s, we, we had the devastation along... Uh, you know, in Florida with the hurricanes, and, and they subsequently started really increasing their building codes and standards in Florida. And therefore, when Hurricane Charlie blew through in 2004, a dramatic drop off in the amount of damage. We've seen Hurricane Katrina's devastation in New Orleans. We've seen the devastation that just occurred in Oklahoma. There are ways to stop this from happening, but we must strengthen our codes and standards in order to get. Uh, to, to, to protect these communities. In, in 2012, 47 states filed for federal yeah. disaster uh, funding. Yeah, that's uh, true. And, and each year we have $35 billion in direct property damage as a result of these disasters. And we, we can strengthen our codes and standards to, to help minimize this. Well, let's hope it happens soon, and we'll check back with you, Carrie, and good luck on that effort. And, um, yeah, obviously we, we care about that here in Nevada just as much as anybody else. Mm -hmm. We appreciate it. Well, we yeah. appreciate the time. And if, if you have a moment, uh, buildstronger.org talks all about resilient construction and, and, and the efforts that we're pushing forward with. Okay. We'll go there. Thank you.